Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And uh, I have over 500 videos here on this YouTube channel. And this channel is for coaches that want to make more money uh, in their sports coaching business. Now, today's video, it's all about why competitors will help you make way more money. Now, I get messages all the time from coaches that are like, Ben, you know, this competitor is stealing everything that I do. Uh, I don't know what to do. This guy is undercutting my price. I mean, I've seen every th single scenario you could possibly imagine. And uh, today in this video, I feel like this is absolutely going to help you. If you just pay attention and you watch the whole video, I, I think you'll get a lot out of this. All right, so there's a couple of things I want you to think about here, all right? Anyone who's in competition with you, ultimately it's someone else who's trying to make a living coaching uh, kids the same way you are. They have their own life, they have their own business, they have their own method of training kids. The clients that they work with probably like them. Um, they attracted a certain type of client whatever, like they are their, their own business, you are your own business. And I look at this really in two different like dimensions. Number one is if your business is a lot more professional looking and feeling than theirs, like the harder they market themselves, uh, the better your business is gonna do. And, and here's why, if they're like really marketing hard and they get on a lot of people's radar in your city and they attract a lot of people to come, but, but their service sucks. Well, they have a bunch of people who are interested, but they're not converting those people into clients. So where are those clients gonna go? Well, the first thing they're probably gonna do after they go to that person's sessions and they don't like it is they're, they're gonna go back to the internet and if they can find you, <laughs> then you are going to be able to recoup all of your competition's clients, like every single one of them, if they have bad service. But let's just assume they have a good service, all right? This is why I always look at it. If your business is untouchable, all right? And that's what I help people do is, is create untouchable businesses locally in their city so no one else can, can take over, all right? If your business is set up that way, it doesn't matter what they do, right? They, even if their business is awesome, if your business is just better, it's more organized, you have better service, better product, uh, better results, then it doesn't matter what they do because they'll always have their clients and they'll always have their drop off. Their, their retention level, I promise you, is probably not good. So if your retention level is higher and you do a great job at marketing, then whatever they do, if they market themselves harder, it's actually gonna end up helping your business more. And I know this is a, a very different way of looking at it, right? But it's true, right? I have seen this happen in my business, right? There have been plenty of people in the past that they try to run ads, they try to go do all this stuff, and they'll generate a lot of buzz, and they'll get people to come in the door, but their service isn't good, and then now those parents are eagerly looking for something else because they don't want that product. So they'll find me, right? And if my service is better, then they're gonna go with me, all right? So I just earned a, a new client from my competitor's marketing, all right? So hope that makes sense. That's the first thing. The second thing, and this is just a good move to make coming up in the future, is anyone who's in your city that is a competitor, it's going to be better for you, your business, and just for clients overall, if you get to know that person and you link up with them. And here's why. Because you can run camps, clinics, uh, you can run so many different things with someone else, whether they have a staff or not. Like You can be so much bigger in your area if you link up with someone. Obviously, like if, if they're not like they, they have to be the right type of person, right? That's why you get, have to get to know them first before you do something like that. But you can expand your reach locally so much when you partner up with someone like that and run camps and clinics. Um, and maybe that's all you do with them. You, you don't do anything else other than run like seasonal camps and clinics 
but you take your community that you have, your business plus their business, combine both, and you guys can have really successful camps and clinics. Like a lot of coaches that I work with, they do that now, and their business is so much better because now they added this extra income stream throughout the year that they didn't have in the past by leveraging off of another coach in the area, right? And here's the thing is like, if you do your deep research, you're gonna find, no matter what city you're in, you're gonna find at least, you know, if you go to Coach Up, you'll find all the local coaches that try to do training there. Um, if you go on Google and type in whatever city you're in, private training, whatever the sport you're in, you'll find everybody who does it. The more people, the more coaches that you know, the better your business is gonna do, right? And lastly, what I can tell you, uh, this is something I'm helping a lot of coaches do now, coaches that are in my program, is I help them build referral programs with competitors. So if you are on an application call with someone and you don't feel like they're a good fit, you can on the phone refer them to the other coach. That coach gets them as a client and that coach pays you. That's another income stream. Most coach, 99.9% .9 of coaches don't have that set up, right? This is why if you know your competitors, it's better for the business, right? It's better for the business. So that is something that uh, can absolutely help you. So hopefully this vi video was valuable. Um, if it was, uh, hit the subscribe button. If you wanna chat with me, you want to get more insight on what we do and how I can help out, my phone number's right there. Don't call me. I've said this in other videos. If you call me, I, I don't pick up. Um, <laughs> that link's over to Google Voice. It's not my cell phone number. No one has my cell phone number other than my wife and my family. <laughs> so text me at that number, though. I will see it, and I can schedule a time to chat with you. And uh, that would be our first way of, of chatting together. If you need help with your business, you want to grow, you want to charge more money, you want to scale up, um, I feel very confident I can help you out. I've already helped hundreds of coaches at this point um, who've gotten awesome results. So shoot me a text there and I'll see you later.